Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we started going through the Glittering Grotto. Definitely one of my favorite places. I always like ice-type places that don't have you slip sliding around all over the place. But anyway, let's head into the boss chamber. That's like a giant mouth. I always love this place so much. Sir Boreas, Spirit of the North Wind. Or, yeah, it's like a Cerberus. Except it's like Sir... I don't know, like Borealis, the North. Anyway, Sir Boreas! 6,370 health. The weakness and resistance you should know by now. Fire, weakness, resistance to water. Let's steal from him. Um, yeah, this is a fun boss. If you're not prepared for him... Okay, we got the set of wolf fangs. That's not what we were supposed to be able to get, as far as I know, but... Okay. <laughs> you're, I thought you were supposed to get an Ice Worm Tusk, but let's get Oliver back out. Um, and, okay, you did use Slice and Dice. So yeah, obviously, the weakness to fire is not just a regular weakness. Um, it can stun him. So you want to... Wait, why was I using Slice and Dice? Slash and burn, dude. Slash and burn. Uh, so as a chance to stun him, that I didn't, yeah, uh, obviously is going to be using storm type, of, uh, not storm, uh, water type attacks on everybody. Um, so yeah, you want to just get everybody prepared. Um, he does, uh, you know, he does have a lot of, oh, I was paralyzed, wow. Uh, he does have a lot of health, so it's really important that you come to this fight prepared or just ready for the long haul. You know that monsters lives in the cold place don't like fire, do you, Boy? Yes, I know that. Well, this bug pooch is not different. Go on, my, give him a roasting. Okay. Um, you know, let's get Esther out here because you, yeah, you have fire attacks. Heat ray. Boop. 234, nice. Oh, and we stunned him. Uh, now's our chance, yeah. Let's use Heat Ray again. Okay, uh, who has fire? Oliver has fire. Oh god, two glims. Come on, let's do this. I wonder if the other one's gonna fly away. Hey, it's definitely gonna fly away before I'm done with this, but... Burning Heart. This hand of mine glows with an awesome power! It tells me to defeat you, Shining Burning Figure! Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. Yay! <laughs> this hand of mine is burning red. Its loud roar tells me to grasp victory. Erupting burning finger! I love it. Okay, so I did a thousand to him and it stunned him again. Okay, let's do this. Let's just combo the heck out of him. And of course our, our main weapon is going to do a nice amount as well. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, we're the that double that double summon. I hope they got some they got their guys out in time, but that double summon was beautiful there. Ow. Slash and burn. Slash and burn. I really love he has like a Wow, good job. Uh, he has like a, I don't know, like a fishtail or something. It's not a fishtail, but you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, let's get you out of there. Let's send you out. Why not? Still do a nice amount of damage, but you only attack twice per, or once or twice per round. So it's kind of upsetting, really. You guys want to do something? You want to help out? You know what? I'm taking control of Esther again. Uh, let's see. What do you have here? A chant? Caffeine, you don't. You need. You need coffee. That's what you need. You need a nice cup of cappuccino. Cap of cappuccino. Okay. So what can you use? Uh, evasion, magical attack. Yes, that is definitely what we need right now. Awesome. Okay, now let's get heat ray back out. 
zap! Yeah, 272. You are almost dead, sir. Huff, huff! And that's it. Wow, five minutes for a boss fight? That's a first in this Let's Play, anyway. <laughs> Not even five minutes, because there was an introduction. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you're ten levels over-leveled. And you also have stuff, uh... Also, we get a Spirit of the Snow, another one of these gem things we haven't seen for a long time. We haven't fought a boss that actually gave us one of these for a while now. But anyway... Rosso levels up, and Gogo -Go levels up, and Spirited levels up, and Haku levels up twice, wow. Zaboomafu levels up, and learns Thunderbolt. Gunter levels up three times. Tintin levels up three times as well. That's a nice amount of experience if I do say so myself. Bad dog. No, no. Oh, is that the stone? No, he coughed it out. Okay. You obtained the Star Stone. I don't have a Pokemon joke. There's no Star Stone. Stone. PK Star Stone! You got a page to describe as Cerboreus. Cerboreus, I don't know. It's like Aurora Borealis, you know? Stay back, everybody. It might still be dangerous. Nah, man, look at those puppy dog guys. He ain't done the warpath no more. I don't know, maybe I guess he was just... Had a thing in his head. Ah, forgive me. Flippin' Ekmon, a flippin' talking dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. It's the Biff and Diff joke all over again. Holy crap, a talking dog. Oh. <laughs> it's Biff and Diff. Okay. What, what the hell are you? I am Saboris, faithful servant of the Wizard King and keeper of the stone. You are old! Sir Tabitha was right. Even after his passing, I served my master still. For many ages now, I have guarded the stone. But its power became too much for me. It consumed me, drove me insane. You poor thing. You came here for the stone, did you not? Yeah. Yes, we. Yes, we did. We have to gather all of them so we can summon the Eternal Dragon Shenlong. Um, I had sensed that all was not right in the world beyond these walls. In saving me from my madness, you have proven your strength and purity of heart. You are worthy of the stone. You. You can tell all that just from sma from us smacking you in the gob. You're a perceptive pooch. I'll give you that. I understand much that is not seen, fairy. As you will, you were the ones for whom my master waited, for whom he waits still. Your, your master, the Wizard King, he knows about us? The Wizard King knows all, and the time when you, too, shall know all approaches. But first you must prove to him your strength. Huh? How do we do that? Do that which he asks of you. Grant him his final wish. Right the wrong of ages past. Bye, puppy. What could the Wizard King want with us? You know, all the things that have given us stones, we haven't actually killed. The Forest Guardian, I think, gave us a stone. I don't remember if Gladiator did. But he, he gave us a stone and the... Uh, it's cool stuff. What could the Wizard King want with us? <laughs> Beggar the Vino. Beggar the Vino. Still look at the, looks like old Muttface didn't mean us any harm in the end, eh? Maybe, but all he did was throw another load of riddles at us. What is it all going to start making sense? Don't be so negative. We got the stone, and that's what matters. The thing to do now is to keep on going. You're right, Esther. Time to go, everybody. <laughs> Closing to... No, 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 not that time. Bed time, no. Nap time, no. Feeding time. Hey, Shadar. This place has undergone some changes. Its halcyon days seem far behind it. Hey, it's, um... Halcyon. 
All that is left of that kingdom and its Gallus. people is the empty citadel you see before you. You have regrets. Destruction was the destiny those fools deserved. The choice you made was correct. Well, well. I never thought I would hear you say that. Now, Counselor, to what do I owe this pleasure? I came to inquire about your intentions. My intentions? Your intentions for this world. A world I believe you would protect. Am I not correct, Dao It is only a matter of time before the forbidden spell is used again. Does the thought not seem disagreeable to you? We all share the same views of this world's pitiful denizens. Their lives are no longer of the slightest value. That's not nice. nice. And you are quite sure of this. My deeds shall demonstrate that I mean what I say. Watch as the frail hopes of the people of this world are torn from them and turned to the blackest despair. Okay. So you would have to share your fate. Very well. Counselor, just what are your intentions? <laughs> This should be interesting. I like how Shadar just has like a black face. You know, just, it's essentially like covered over in a veil. By the skies, you're a swift boy, I'll give you that. It seems you have yourself a full set of magic stones already. You couldn't have done it without Tengri, there's nowhere he can't fly. Except for one place. Ha 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 ha! He's done me proud. He may be a mere fledgling, but he has all the makings of a legendary dragon. Now you know what you know it needs doing next, I take it. Those magic stones need to be reunited with that wand of yours. So we just need to put the magic stones back in the holes in the wand, huh? Okay, here goes. Ah. Hmm? Uh-oh. Uh, they'll never fit. Flippin' heck, what's this all about? Well, that's what happens when you put the wand through the wash, Drippy. I told you, but no. Oh, the wand will never shrink. It's not made out of wool. Ugh. They're the wrong blooming sides, ain't they? Are you blind or something? I guess I didn't think to check. I mean, we were so busy looking for them. You're not seriously telling me. We've ended up with a bunch of worthless counterfeits, are you? No, they're real. Of that, there can be no doubt. The keepers of the stones you cross swords with were real enough, were they not? Then why don't they fit in the wand? Tis Monstar that has changed size. Like as not, it's shifted shape to fit the hand of its new owner. But there's bound to be a way to get those stones to follow suit, and I'll warn some wise soul has scribbled it down somewhere. I have nose for plunder, and I'd say you have the be you'd best have a sniff around the same the self same place you first heard tell of Mornstar, and I first came by the map. Hamlin, of course you're right, Kublai. So it's back to Hamlin again, is it? This seems to be becoming a habit. Come on then, Oliver. Okay, let's go see how Marcusan's doing. Yay! I like Marcusan. He's fun. Uh, is there anything else we can do here? Nope. Uh, first things first. We're gonna actually be going back to Yule because now we got more side quests. Yay! Ba -da -lam, ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay, sorry, Derpwin. We're gonna have to make you wait just a bit longer. Uh, okay, we got more side quest people up there. So, let's just head to Swift Solutions first. So I'm pretty sure we have more bounties. You're still blocking my chest, boy! Uh, bounty hunts. No, I guess not. We don't have anything to claim. Uh, okay, we almost have enough for that familiar thing, so that's cool. Uh, so let's talk to the two, the two peoples here. Hello, new person. Aw, you're adorable. 
boy, boy, oh, where is he gone? What's the matter? It is my boy child, yes, he has suddenly disappeared. Jeepers, that's awful. Yes, it is, one moment he's playing with the small people and then... Okay, the small people, I don't know if I can put up with that kind of talk. Pretty, pretty thank you, he was playing with the small people. So probably give the littlies around a little grilling then. Yes, let's go grill some litlies. You look like a litly. Let's grill you. No? Maybe it's the child all the way at the exit. Excuse me, there's a little Tomta boy missing. Would you know anything about that? Eh! You can say. Well, I think we all know what that means. Come on, spit it out. I have nothing to spit. It was not me. Okay, I explain. They were going to go to Glittering Grotto because they're stupid. Oh, and you think your mams and dads tell you that for their own good? If this sounds dangerous, it's because it's proper deadly! Sorry! What happened? The voice of a beast came within the cave and they were at home with fear! Oh, God. Stupid little Tom to Child's inside Glittering Grotto. Okay, and let's talk to the other... Oh, no! Gilderberg! Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here, old stick. Jolly chilly around these parts, what? You again. You're like the proverbial bad penny you are. How could how'd you end up by here? Oh, 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 come now, dear boy. There's no need to take that tune. One simply enjoys a spot of the old peregrination, that is all. And once one's diary has been published, the whole world will know just what's so bolly marvelous about roaming the land. The diary you keep losing every five minutes, you mean? Oh, come now. Let sleeping dogs lie, shall we? I've jolly well learned my lesson. Why, look, it's just, uh, just, uh, let, let me see now. Uh, bother. What's the matter? Do you really need to flip and ask? I'm most dreadfully sorry. I rather seem to have misleaded it again. Of course you flip and have learned your lesson indeed. Well, shall we come to the aid of the flipping party once more? Yep. Yeah. Gonna look for his flipping diary. Where did you lose it this time? Well, now see, one rather had one's breath taken away by the cold when we landed here. In fact, one was knocked spark out by it. You were cheaper, so I'm glad you're okay. Rather, what? Had the dash of stroke of luck, in fact. Some forest folk came across one's prostrate form. When I came to, I was propped against the noggin of a moss in a sparkling sylvan glade somewhere west of here. Perhaps the old diary's still there. Could have fallen out of my pocket. What? He's referring to himself in the third person now. That's creepy. Okay, so let's head out. So yeah, if you remember, we actually visited the forest glade. Um, okay, so yeah. Also, I was um, the uh, the one that like is unlock Oliver's full potential that uh, increases his HP and MP by a hundred. Essentially, it gives him the nest treatment. <laughs> um, in you know, in Earthbound, when you uh, get all eight of the stones and go through Magic Hand, you just get like a bazillion stats. It's kind of like that, but just HP and MP. Anyway, it's in here, where's some moss? Hello, visit there again. Welcome, welcome. Um, again? You mean you had other visitors? Men come back, close, fall down. I help. Black clothes, eh? Don't suppose the old daft old beggar dropped something? Drop this he drop. It's the diary! Please give him. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's just save a little time and travel to you. <laughs> okay. We'll go through Yule and then we'll head to the, um, the kid inside of the whatchamahoosit place. After getting this, we should have four, we should have the four cards we need. Uh, I would, if you want to save up for the, uh, for the final, for the, the eight, that's probably a good idea, but honestly, I think it's better for the, to get the familiar catching one. You're absolutely most positively the finest of fellows the size of Sainsbury in the hallowed country of Brickshire. Oh my god, where the heck are you from? Are you from our world or not? 
Not to mention being one's magnum opus. What? Yes, I really should take care. Back care of it. Oh, do forgive my atrocious manners for you. And you get a suit of dress armor. And money. And stampy stamps. Awesome. Uh, let's check out the dress armor. Uh, ba -da -da -da. You don't wear armor. You wear armor. That's a nice defense increase, but the uh, evasion actually doesn't go down too much. Okay. Now you're invincible. Yay. Uh, don't need that. Who else uses? Nobody. Nobody else. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's head to the Glittering Grotto now. Uh, yeah, we can... Once again, we can just uh, warp there, thankfully. Um, just a tip, you're going to be fighting a uh, strong enemy in here to save the stupid child kid. Uh, but if you're prepared for the boss of this area still, then there's really no problem whatsoever. Anyway, we're going to go all the way up there, so I'll just meet you there. Yeah, as you can see from here, well, not here, here, but, yep, it's an ogre. Nickers, get a load of that, Ollie boy. The poor dabs of automatons and proper spot of bother. You're right, we gotta help him. Time to send the beastie pack in. Yep, that's the spirit. Let's give a proper battering. Water ogre and some turban legends. The water ogre has 200, 2,340 health. Same weaknesses as every other enemy here. Uh, let's try to get rid of some of these guys with a fire slash. That didn't really work, but okay. I just want to get rid of the Turban Legends because they can use the snow attack. And... Uh, now I'm just going to keep a slash dance going. Uh, this, this should do a nice amount of damage to everybody. Nice. Uh, let's get rid of this uh, Turban Legend. Yeah, they're a bit more powerful than usual, but they're really not going to last too long. Also, as always, you cannot steal from them, and you can't recruit them. Let's use Flash Bird, maybe. Now we'll get him. Nope, we missed. I just don't like the Turban Legends, because they can hit everybody with attacks and it's annoying. Also, they're weaker. Are you using Fling Flame? You're an ice enemy, dude! I know that you come from from a fire enemy, but still. Um, now let's get Smasher out for a little bit, just to uh, let Ponyo rest. But uh, yeah, this Water Ogre is not doing very well for himself. Rolling stone, gonna see my pic- 278, I love it. See my picture on the cover. Gonna buy five copies for my mother. Is that it? Yep, that's it, unfortunately. And nobody levels up. Yay. Okay, you stupid idiot. That's being very frightening. Jeepers, that was close. I'm sure glad you're okay and everything, but you really shouldn't have come here. Too flippin', right? Didn't your mother tell you not to go to wandering around the place? I'm being very, very sorry. Please forgive me. Well, you're safe now. It's the main thing. Let's head back to Yule. All right. And let's talk to the mother. Pretty, thank you. You brought my boy child home in safety, yes. Oh, I cannot be grateful enough. Okay. Yeah, now let's just hope he listens from now on. Sorry, listen to you. Do not make me worried. Oh, and we get rewards. Medal of Valor, money, and stampy stumps. And another bonus, yay. Uh, let's just see. Can you equip the Medal of Valor? No. Okay, you. Uh, where is it? You. Increases stamina. Eh. I'll see if there's someone that's good for. Uh, anyway, that's it for the quests here that I want to do. <laughs> um, 
Let's uh, let's exchange the thing for the familiar. Whatchamahoo's it? And call an episode, I guess. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Uh, we are going to claim a merit award. Jack of Hearts. Uh, like I said, if you don't think that you really need this and you're okay with just grinding away and trying to get some, like, the, the stuff for Derpwin or whatever, uh, I would save up for this because it gives you a huge stat boost. Um, I mean, if you're, like, especially if you're underleveled, this is probably gonna really help you out. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do this because it works well for me. Okay, and that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, in between episodes, I'm going to catch the other things that Derpwin wants. And uh, we're going to, in the next episode, we're going to continue onward with our uh, search. I'll meet you. Well, actually, I'll meet you in front of Derpwin to finish the quest. But I'll meet you in, uh, then we'll go to Hamlin. Uh, anyway, this has been Sephiroth Level 4, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.